Hello, you're eight. Welcome to Mr. Adams' science class for a moment. Today we're going to learn about chemical reactions and what chemical reactions actually are. Let's have a look. Chemical reactions happen when you take one chemical and react it with another chemical and what happens is usually bonds are broken to create new chemicals. So say for example we get some ice and we pour hot water on it and then the ice becomes water, liquid water. Well that's not a chemical reaction, it's a physical change because the ice, H2O, let's have a look, it's the ice, water molecule as solid plus heat, it just becomes water molecule as a liquid. But it doesn't actually, you don't actually create any new molecules. It's the same molecule, just in a different physical form. In a chemical reaction, you actually take one molecule, break the bonds, take those atoms and stick them together to create a new molecule. For example, let's say we had, so let's point the camera down here for a second. Let's say we had some, uh, let's say each blue, blue atom represents a uh, chlorine atom and the white represents hydrogen. So here we've got H with a Cl, which would be similar to hydrochloric, hydrochloride. Let's say we've got hydro hydrochloric acid. Let's say we've got a whole bunch of HCl molecules, right? And then we react them. Let's say the black atoms represent a metal. Let's say, for argument's sake, the metal was aluminium. Now let's say we've got some aluminium metal atoms reacting with HCl. In the chemical reaction, what would happen when we react acids with metals is we break these bonds the atoms start coming out of the usual molecules ah. and what happens is in this particular case the hydrogen atoms bond together to create hydrogen gas hydrogen gas and then the atoms of the metal in this case aluminium bond together ionically to form aluminium chloride and I won't put actual bonds between these two because these are not covalent bonds so they're not actually a molecule such as more of a salt. So when you've got two atoms that are attracted together when positive and negative are attracted, you call that a salt or an ionic compound. So now we've got a chemical reaction. We took HCl and we added it with aluminium. Now we've got hydrogen gas and aluminium chloride salt left behind. So if we show that on the board, we would have aluminium, which is the metal. Could be any metal, could be iron. Uh, could be copper, whatever. So we're reacting it with HCl, an acid, and we're ripping, breaking bonds apart, taking atoms off one molecule, sticking them together, and what we do is create hydrogen gas plus a salt. In this case, the salt would be aluminium chloride. Okay, now let's have a look at what happens when this actually happens, and you would have done this in the lab. You take a bit of aluminium, put it in, well I don't have a test tube, so I have to put it in a glass jar. And we're going to mix a bit of acid with it. In this case, we're going to get hydrochloric acid. I'm going to mix it up a bit. And then we give it a moment. And when the metal reacts with the acid, now what's happening here is the bonds of the HCl are breaking and they're going to stick together to form hydrogen gas in a moment. So we're going to see some steam coming off there. And then we're going to see like a black material left behind and that'll be the salt, that'll be the aluminium chloride. So this chemical reaction probably takes about 30 to 60 seconds to take place. If we agitate it a bit, increase the surface area of the aluminium. Uh, if you have a look here, you can see it's starting to bubble a bit. Uh-huh. And we've got gas coming off. Now in the lab, if you were to create this reaction and put a test tube over the top of it, oh, you see it's quite a, a violent reaction. That gas coming off... <coughs> is hydrogen gas. If we put a test tube over that and trap the hydrogen gas and lit it, <coughs> it sort of explodes a bit because it's um, hydrogen gas is what we use for the pop test. Yeah, you might want to just cover your, um, cover you. yeah. <coughs> now, all the hydrogen gas has come off and the black material we've got left behind is mostly aluminium chloride <coughs> with a bit of water that's left behind from the hydrochloric acid. Funny <coughs> And funnily enough, <coughs> what we <coughs> may have noticed was that, that that hydrogen gas was coming off with quite a lot of pressure. So I'm thinking, what happens if we had enough of the aluminium chloride, uh, enough of the aluminium 
with enough of the hydrochloric acid, we had it in a confined space. For example, let's say we put it in a Coke bottle and then we had this gas coming off and there's already air inside the bottle, air mostly nitrogen and oxygen. What happens then? Well, of course, as is with anything with science, there's only one way to find out. Hang on a second, I'm just gonna pause this and we'll be back in one moment.